Hello and welcome back to the Grim Reaper. So there is a small uh, problem with the Hawk module in DCS and certain types of joystick. We found this out the hard way um, and it was <laughs> very difficult, but uh, we're going to pass it on to, on to you now, so hopefully you don't make the same problem. So just going to turn the lights on so we can see what we're doing. It's all about the hydraulics here. And so we're going to run through the startup procedure just to show where the problem um, happens and then we'll explain why it happens. So we're going to Hang on, track OER is being bad. Uh, so ignition on, uh, that on. So this is the normal startup procedure. Ba 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 ba. That down. So you get to this point here. We're just going to wait for bollocks. I've forgotten. What do we have to wait for once I've? Once you've turned that on, you've got the fuel cock on, and you've got the four buttons down. It's the centre button on the stick. Uh, is that there we go? Centre button. Okay. On the throttle. Sorry. Yep. So that's getting the APU going. Whatever it's called. Wait for DTS to come on. Let me guess, it doesn't. It, it works now. Fine. Right. DTS is on. Um, brain freeze. Brain freeze. Sprinkle. What do I click on now? Click on that. Then it's engine start switch to start. Start. You should hear it purr. And so we're going to see the RPM of the engine go up now, and also we'll hopefully see our hydraulic gauges that will go up. That's what we're supposed to see. But uh, the hydraulics won't come on yet. Um, oh, you need to do is you need to wait for it to hit 25 percent, then uncage the throttle. Yep, done. Uncage the throttle. And this is where you should start seeing reactions from your hydraulic system. I'm just going to close the uh, window to do that. Okay, so what should normally happen here, as you see the engine started and it's up to RPM, what should happen here is that the hydraulics needle should go up and you should get hydraulics pressure in the various systems. Um, you can see we've got it in the brakes, but not in these hydraulic systems which controls the flaps and stuff. Um, and so that is a problem. Now the reason is, it turns out, is that if you have a joystick that doesn't have anti, what's it called, Winkle? Um, anti, anti jiggle anti, something anti or other. It's got a jitter filter. Roger. So if you've got a joystick like mine, so for example, is an X56 Rhino that I've got. Um, basically, it's making tiny, tiny little movements, uh, ever so small, even if you haven't got your hand on it, ever so small movements. And so if you go to adjust controls and if we go to axis controls and we go to the joystick, go to axis tune, that's why you have this dead zone here. Um, so if you don't have a dead zone, which is fine, but, uh, you know, I don't have a dead zone, then the Hawk is receiving tiny inputs um, from the stick uh, and moving just a tiny bit, just like that, just like that, just because, you know, the joystick's not perfect, it makes tiny movements even when you're not touching it. That upsets the Hawk's hydraulic systems because if you're moving that e stick about even a tiny bit, it drains the hydraulic system, so I can't explain how that works, and to, to be honest, it doesn't really matter, but it's a thing. Um, and, and, and so hence I can't go any further I can't get my Hawk started uh, so what you have to do to solve that is you just go to your adjust controls and you go to your axis commands and you go to that one that one and that one so that's rudder roll pitch you go to axis tune on each of them and you set a dead zone now I can't tell it all sticks are different I can't tell you what to set um, but something around about four or five ish is probably going to be in the area of what you need and that gets takes away that little jiggle you see that jiggle there that happens when it's just sitting on its own um, and uh, and then you won't get the problem starting the hawk and everyone's happy and it's perfectly fine having a dead zone on most people do have it and you should have it so it's just a little thing to know about I hope that helps someone other than that we'll see you later